Hello, Happy New Year! This is my first video of the year and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Posca markers to make a galaxy effect. I don't know if you're familiar with Posca markers, but they can be used in a lot of different ways. And I've been testing them and I discovered that they can be used like watercolors. So they can be used on canvas, on fabric like this. In this image right now I'm using them on fabric and as you can see you can smudge them and blend them perfectly and they have thousands of different uses. So for my galaxy I'm going to use these colors here uh, and as you can see Posca colors are super pigmented and opaque and I'm going to use this paper by Canson which is called Figueras uh, which resembles a canvas and it is a, a beautiful paper I love it and I'm going to put water first and then put the color. I started with um, the darker color which is this blue here and I'm sort of like dubbing the color so that um, I don't create um, any harsh line underneath uh, the water and then I put my second color and I am basically basically creating like little stains and dots and then I also spray a little bit of water so that the color will like spread on the paper and as you can see it works it looks a little bit like watercolor of course it's different watercolor is transparent and it has a different effect Posca colors are basically acrylics, so they are water-based colors with an opaque finish and they can be dissolved in water as you can see, but when they dry they stay on the paper for good. Don't worry if at the beginning it looks like a mess, like a lot of different stains of different colors and it looks ugly. Of course, uh, you have to work it a little bit. So keep adding the colors. And then keep adding more colors. And finally add the black color, which is super important because it gives depth to the composition. And you can also work the color with a brush. And again, dry that up with an air dryer. Posca colors are made of acrylic colors, so once they are dry, they stay there for good. So you can go over them with uh, water again and with color and make a second layer. So I am repeating all the process uh, again using more uh, light blue 
here and there, a more pink. And layering the colors gives also uh, more depth. Again, the black color, super important. And when the paper is still wet, but not super, super wet, um, use a white Posca marker to make the stars. And this is my favorite moment because as you can see, the white color spreads a little bit and it looks exactly like um, the lights uh, in the sky. This is a technique that I've used a lot with gouache, white gouache and watercolor and uh, you've seen that in a lot of my watercolor videos. So again, use the hair dryer and when it's completely dry, keep adding your stars. So make little white dots here and there and they will be the stars. And now it's basically done. You can leave it like so, or you can give it a circular shape, like I decided to trace a circle and then cut it, because uh, I thought the circular shape was cuter. I don't know why, but I think it's cute. Anyway, this was an experiment, you guys, so this was not meant to be a serious painting. But I really wanted to show you that you can use the Posca markers like watercolors and that they are more creative than uh, what we usually think. So let me know what do you think about this idea, let me know if you knew the Posca markers, if you like this video please leave some thumbs up and comments down here and if you want to you can subscribe to my channel. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Ciao!